Hello everyone, this is Saberwolf. I am one of the community managers for the Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. I want to take a moment before we get to our next video to thank you all because, hey, we just hit 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube page. And that support actually helps us to grow and do bigger, better things. Because any of the revenue we could get from the partnership from YouTube soon and the Twitch uh, subscriptions there, all that comes back to you all, the community, through fundraising, marathon events, and etc. Because we don't keep the money, that money goes right back into you all and all of our marathon events. So, um, again, thank you for your time and your effort and for your love for this Final Fantasy VI game. And bigger and better things are definitely sure to come in the near future. So, again, thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to another Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide video. I am Saber Wolf and once again I am joined with Taco Mage. How you doing buddy? Doing good. Looking forward to revealing four new flags. Yeah, it's uh, round three of the uh, card draw for the Blackjack Butter Royale final table. We're renting the semi-finals here uh, this week. Kind of, yep, kind of heating up. Now. The, the seed is getting, or the picks are getting narrower so we're getting more excited. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, of course, these uh, picks keep adding on to the top of what we already have. So we'll go over the rules just really, really quick here. Again, starting with the last round, each player will be drawing three new cards and will be playing one of those cards on the table. If that card conflicts with one of the previous cards in play, that previous card or the older card is removed from the table. It's eliminated. And once again, the draw order is determined by the previous round's time. So the slowest time picks first, the fastest time picks last. That way, the uh, winner of the previous round, we guarantee that their pick is going to be in, and they can see the entire field before making that pick. And here's the results of that round from the leaderboard from round two. Uh, Infinite Fluff takes the win uh, last week, followed by Falcon Hit, Perlo Canaras, and Abu. What do you think about these uh, times here? Uh, actually, those the passing times are pretty good. Again, we're still looking at, well, but Boo or Sub-80, which is always a fantastic time for just about any seed. Um, I'm seeing good, solid cluster. I think, what, there's a less than 20-minute time split between the slowest and fastest time, which is, I mean, for eight people, it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good cluster, I'd say. Yeah, usually when you see uh, groups of uh, eight or like this, you usually see about a 30-minute time difference. 11 minutes, pretty darn good for the top bench. And uh, even though the 1 minute 36 12 from Jux Rock getting stuck behind that spicy chicken on the Latte River uh, kind of cost him there a little bit, so that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, pretty good times there. Of course, that means Infinite Fluff will have the final pick, and Boo will have the first pick of this flag set. And speed up the flag set, let's go back and see what our current flag set is at this time. Uh, why don't you run through uh, at least round one so, so we can see what we have. All right. So in round one, we've got the Monk, which means you're starting with Sabin. And that pairs very nicely with River Mastery, which is you do Lette River and you pick up all eight Blitzes. You got Transcendent Characters for huge stat boosts between 160 and 240, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. um, then you got Unbound, which is open world, no longer character gating. Uh, Vanilla Shops, which is... Uh, vanilla shops, uh, but no free <laughs> lunch and no toys to remove uh, easy, quick uh, character check, character and esper checks, instead replacing them with just high tier items and um, no toys being no rods and no super balls in the shops. So you're not going to find your offense other than weapons in the shops. Uh, finality, meaning that you are um, going permadeath without any starting Phoenix Downs. And silence for auto silence on the entire party starting off, meaning that if you want to cast magic, you're going to need white capes or a ribbon. And speaking of that magics, in round two, we found uh, potent espers, which means the espers can be casted multiple times at a discounted rate. 
Uh, however, when, since we're silenced, we're going to have to find those uh, white capes in order to do so, which will be easy with the vanilla shops. Uh, NPC Zapper, it's more of a uh, quality of life improvement, being able to get rid of the NPCs blocking our paths. Since we already have open world, it doesn't really break the uh, sequence at all for a series. Dragon's Horizon adds four dragons to the already six characters, nine espers we need to unlock Kefka's Tower. Random Chess was again drawn, um, which replaced the one from the previous round, so that didn't change much. That is 100% randoms. Uh, tough scaling, two and a half percent, uh, two and a half times scaling per character, Esper, and Dragon we have, which means currently the dra scaling goes up to 47, and the max scaling is 50 if you decide to get an extra character or uh, Esper or a uh, Dragon. Friend skip means we have, uh, if we get three characters beyond uh, what we need, which is uh, nine characters, or we'll have a BLT to jump all the way to the switches in Kafka's Tower, so we don't need to run up the tower. Fighter's Hunt, once we do kill those four dragons, the entire party will gain plus 20 vigor, and the Dragoon, that is Edgar, joining his brother uh, Sabin, and he's also got jump instead of the uh, odd tools. So, uh, I guess, looking at this setup going into round three, what are you hoping for as a racer? Well, as a racer, I really want to get rid of the, uh, the uh, finality and, uh, and try to get rid of the silence effects. Um, that's, I guess, was the only things that are slowing us down because everything I see on the screen here is just speed, 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 speed because no free lunch increases our chance of getting characters and espers in the real world. And... Uh, and just everything else just makes speed. I mean, that's what we saw the one hour, eight minute time. So maybe try to slow this down a little bit, make things a little more strategic. So getting rid of maybe open world, finality, silence, stuff like that. What about you? Uh, I would say that I might actually at this point in the race be trying to get rid of transcendent characters. Ah. Um, I think that that's... Uh, Transcendent characters, especially with Blitz on the table so early, I think is a lot of upfront easy damage. And if you're trying to, you know, lean on your knowledge of seed progression more than just like being able to, you know, face ram your way through the seed, trying to get rid of transcendent characters for something a little, uh, a little more chaotic or even just a little more uh, medium <laughs> <It's not laughs> uh, might be the way We need more chaos in this. You know, getting getting that one to two hundred percent stat scaling is always spicy. All right. Well, once again, uh, Boo is up front uh, first. He finished fourth in the previous round, and he is draws cards first. He draws the Minas Espers. That's what you're looking for. Uh, toy shops and dragon's egg. Uh, Diminished Espers means we do uh, Espers are slight. Is going to think it's like uh, one hundred to one hundred twenty percent. I think casting. And they cannot be cast again. I think they have limited uh, magic power, I believe, or magic spells that can be learned. Toy shops means toys go back in the shops again. And dragon's egg, after we kill two of the dragons, we get an experience egg. Man, uh, things that I was not expecting to see. <laughs> yeah. So two of these are actual, uh, um, are actual uh, card replacers. Uh, and the third one is a lot of upfront speed in a, in a seed where you've already got to do four dragons anyway. Um, problem there is that that means that you know your opponents are going to get that. But it also makes it interesting is, okay, do you move the dragons up front in your seed? Um, I honestly don't know what I would pick. I'd probably lean towards dragon's egg just, you know, just to kind of hedge against slowness. Yeah, and I also helped try to get Saban with the Blitz online instead of doing the Let River, which River Mastery is. Uh, be able to just experience it in ways so you can do the stop at uh, the, uh, the Duncan's house instead to learn it. But the pick is in, and we have Dragon's Egg. So more dragon action going on. I'll be really interested to see if we see, like, some, you know, first pick dragons. Like, you know, heading right for CN and grabbing a dragon and then busting straight south to try to do uh, Opera House. Yeah, it'll be a little hard um, with the fact that we don't have our rods and balls to try to break on, on the dragons, and we also have silence. So it means we're going to have to get those awake capes first before we do that. Yeah, it really depends on how your like initial item loop goes. I mean, you get a couple of good shields to crack or something, it might be worth it. That's very true. The card picks are in for Perlo Quinares, the newest uh, member to our uh, tournaments here. We have Overflow Skip. The Gambler and Dragon's Remnant. Uh, that means overflow skip 
is we uh, can get three characters or three espers. That is the Ultra League skip. The gambler, of course, is the host with the most of our final table tournament. That is Setzer Vanilla. And uh, Dragon's Remnant. Uh, that is a Dragoon set after killing two dragons. You know, I could actually see them starting to go all in on the dragons here. I, I think Set Spot <laughs> is really pushing for it at this point. He's like, you know, dragon checks. <laughs> yeah, this is feeling like uh, this is feeling like Odin all over again. Where Setzer's like, you guys want to go fast? Well, I don't think we do. You guys want to go fast? You you wouldn't want to overflow skip? Uh, try to get too many espers. You can get to skip too. At the, I mean, at this level of play and at this point in the. Uh, the tournament, I don't think many of them are really going to be going for skip. Skip would be something that you get just because the like the check order is bad. I don't know how much that you would really be uh, gunning for that. Well, the pick is in, and of course it is Dragon's Remnant. We are going Dragons. That is, means the last four picks of this tournament have been dragon later between Fighter's Hunt, Dragoon, Dragon's Egg, and Dragon's Remnant. Set spot wants the Dragons. <laughs> apparently i mean and of course the next thing we're missing is the, next, the, is the uh, bot that we have in our discord that pulls the cards for our players and uh and gives them the selections and does all the cool stuff in the background uh let's see card round three that is falcon hit He's our Tournament of the Month uh, winner. He's won the most Tournament of the Months throughout the series. He has Stronger Commands, Diminished Espers. We see that one again. And Empowered Characters. Uh, we know what Diminished Espers are. Stronger Commands means it gets rid of the bad commands. Like uh, Sketch and Steel and like that. Um, and then Empowered Characters lowers the power of our characters down to 110 to 150%. Like right around there. That's a, some spicy checks there. Uh, I'll double oh, check what, what the percentages what's... are. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yep. Uh, I'm sorry, 110 to 140%. I'm sorry. Okay. So slightly elevated. Yeah. But less elevated than we are right now. I don't know. Anything sticking out to you in those? I'm not sure what I would pick. I mean, at this point, we're looking at speed, speed, and more speed. I mean, uh, I guess the uh, speed is king. I guess we're looking at stronger commands. Uh, that will increase the chances of us getting the good commands, like uh, more blitz, throw, magic attack, uh, like stuff like that. Yeah, so I mean, speed, I guess we'll at this, speed. <laughs> I mean, I guess at this point, yeah, might as well lean into it. <laughs> yep, and of course, the pick is in from uh, Falcon Hit. And it's speed, speed, more speed as uh, Stronger okay. Commands comes through. All right. They're just leaning into it, I see. Yeah, I guess there's they, they yeah, like a motorcycle leaning in the corner. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they want this uh, They want this seed to hit sub one hour by uh, by the time we hit the finals. Oh, so clar sir, clarification. Diminished Espers is zero to two spells, and there's 20% chance to, cause it, to give it a stat bonus, and summons cost 100 to 150%. Of the original cost, so yeah, it would be completely different than what we have for the current espers. So, I wanted to clarify that. Sorry. Yep. And last but not least is our winner from last week, If and a Fluff. Again, he came all the way from the Lagmorph Lounge to qualify the event, and he's going to the semifinal. He draws Vanilla Bosses, which was actually in the Lagmorph Lounge, uh, Feeble Characters, and Falcon. Uh, sorry, Factory Upgrade. Uh, vanilla bosses means all the bosses are going to be in the original locations. Feebles characters, which means characters will go from 160 to 200 percent down to 60 to 90 percent. And factory upgrade is when you do Magitech facility, and since we have open world, we'll be able to do it. Uh, we'll actually upgrade the Magitech ability if we have it to full, which means it gives us magic miss. Uh, gives us the yeah, magic missile. <laughs> gives us M Tech missile. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, I mean the. Uh... Uh, there's two actually really good choices there if we're going for jet. Uh, factory upgrade is hedging against a, an M tech, and if you get that, you basically have uh, you know you have free instant death and and free high level magic attack. But vanilla bosses would also basically make everything in the world of balance really fast and easy, and it makes the whole seed very predictable. 
Uh, so that yeah, I, I think vanilla bosses. Though? Yeah, I was gonna say I think vanilla bosses would be faster, but I think it would be less interesting. I think factory upgrade would be the better choice from an interesting interest point of view. Yeah, that's what happened in the um, Legomorph Lounge or the um, sorry, it wasn't Legomorph Lounge or Fenrir. I think it should have been Fenrir. Um, knowing where all the bosses were definitely forced you on what direction to go in and what order to go in. So everybody was doing the same exact thing. And that doesn't really bode well for anybody because everybody right. knows what their boss is going to do. So it's like, who can do it faster is key. And if you don't, if you can't do it faster, you don't want to do that. So, well, the pick is in for our final pick. It is factory upgrade. So that means that. Uh, we'll we do Magitech facility, which we like. We'll do anyways because it is a triple, a double or triple reward check. Uh, we will get the upgrade. Yeah, I think that that gives you some leeway. I think that actually pushes M Tech back a little in the, in your rotation. Wait until you need you know one or two Esper, or wait until you need two or or three Espers rather. And then if you don't have an M Tech character by that point, hit the first two and then warp out and go do something else. Well, I mean, we do have the stronger commands, which means that increases the chance of having Magitek armor uh, to be one of our abilities. So yep, factory it, upgrade will definitely lean into that. Um, with that higher chance of getting Magitek, well, we can actually learn all the skills for it. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a good synergy there. So here's all the funnel picks once again. Uh, we have lots of dragon action between Dragon's Horizon, Dragon Names, Dragon Remnant, Dragoons, Fighter Hunt. Uh, a lot of stuff centered around the dragons, which are very easy to get to because we are in the open world environment. We've still got the Venomous Shop, still got Permadeath, still got Silence. None of that has been removed. So it pretty much looks like they're going to be here to stay. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I think I think you're if you're used to working around the, the Silence and the Finality, it's probably not that big a deal. I mean, we're already seeing really good times, so I, I don't know that... From here on out, we're going to see a calmness. I think it's just going to be them leaning into making the seed even even crazier. I haven't really seen any calmnesses really used throughout the whole entire tournament. I mean, maybe there was one in the Lagomorph Lounge, I think, but that was about it. Like, I haven't seen any calmnesses. It, it doesn't actually seem to come up all that often. At least it hasn't in uh, Battle Royale. Um, I think in... All of Odin, I think we saw it pulled once or twice. So it seems to be fairly uncommon. I think it's a little bit more common when you're just using set spot on the side. So I don't know if that yeah. was done specifically to make Battle Royale more interesting. It's possible. Maybe. Any final thoughts before we uh, wrap things up here? Uh, no, I think uh, we've said everything that needs to be said, except that I think we need to uh, plug the social media. Oh, yeah. Be sure to follow us on all the social medias, uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Facebook, of course, our Twitch account, which is where we stream all our action live. And on that note, uh, be sure to uh, follow, to learn uh, on the Discord. Sorry. Make sure you follow us on the Discord to figure out when that final match is going to happen between Infinite Fluff, Falcon Hit, Parallel Canaleras, and Boo. So be sure to follow us on there to see when that time will be. And it will be full live. This will not be a VOD, folks. This will be fully live. Once again, I am Silver Wolf. I want to thank you all for joining us. And on behalf of Talco Mage and all of us on Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide, we will hope to see you soon next week for our final picks on the draft before the grand finale. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a very good night. <laughs>